here tonight with Zachary Stiles, the creator of Squash Quest. Great to be here today, Joe. Thanks for having me. Anime and vegetables. What inspired that? <laughs> the creative process is a beautiful thing. Sometimes if I haven't slept too much, I'll be standing in the kitchen and suddenly everything goes black and fuzzy around the edges. That's when I can hear the telltale whispering of <laughs> He always has the best ideas. And this was originally planned as a half minute skit? Yeah, it was supposed to be a one-off, but you know how these things get out of hand. Episodes two through four were written as one episode, but by the time I was halfway through the third scene, I realized it was going to be way too long. When can we expect to see it finished? The final episode will hopefully release during TDS season five. We're getting real close, and I want this finished. On the topic of scope creep, tell me about some of your deep lore. What's going on in the background that doesn't make it into the show proper? There's so much, where do I even start? So we have this world map, and this only has the areas of immediate concern to the show. But the idea is that there's this entire world of food. In our world, the real world, when a fruit or vegetable is grown, simultaneously one is born in their world, the food dimension. And during the shelf life of the real item, on our side, they age and go through their entire life cycle in the food dimension. This is kind of like the relationship between our dimension and that of the so, which would be the food dimension in that arrangement? Ours is, I mean, obviously. That's, uh, quite elaborate. Oh yeah, animating takes forever, so I've had way too much time to put a lot of thought into this stuff. Like how their gods are avatars of the five main food groups, or how each of the main characters accesses their powers in a different way. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Well, like, Butters is your generic anime protagonist boy, so he gets his powers from plot contrivance and fighting for his friends, and Lady Tear is a high-level shadow rogue, which is why she's got red eyes and voice distortion. Sweets is a holy cleric who gets his powers from the god of vegetables. Can you tell me a little bit about the team that worked on the show? We have the most incredible special effects team. It is an honor doing business with them. Um, and some of the green screen work we do is, is really something else, like, like big budget movie type effects. Apricot, you played a starring role in episode 4. Would you care to comment? No comment. There you have it, folks. It started as the whispers of an unknowable cosmic horror, now a timeless classic beloved by all. Squash Quest, episode 4 just went up yesterday, and episode 5 should be out next season.